And that announcement comes as leaders across Mecklenburg County demand big changes over who manages public transportation in the region. Several mayors and elected officials who sit on the Metropolitan Transit Commission want more power over CATS. It comes after a number of the issues that the agency has publicly addressed, like safety concerns and staffing woes. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joining us live now from the Government Center in Uptown with the details. Lexi? Well, seven elected officials with MTC say they want more of a say on how CATS operates. Meanwhile, Charlotte City Council members say they're ready to have conversations about how to move forward. From low ridership and low morale to a derailment while passengers were on board, CATS has had its fair share of difficulties. Right now, all of the major issues that were identified have been addressed or are being addressed. Now, mayors of six Mecklenburg towns and County Commissioner Lee Altman, who are part of the Metropolitan Transit Commission, want more oversight. The commission was formed about 25 years ago to help govern how the half cent sales tax for transit is spent. You know, Mint Hill sends probably roughly a million and a half dollars to uh, cats in the form of our sales tax. And um, we want to make sure that my, I want to make sure that the citizens are getting a good return on their money. The mayor of Mint Hill, Brad Simmons, says conversations began after the MTC voted to ask the city of Charlotte to hire an independent third party to investigate problems within cats. The city refused and instead asked the federal government to do a review. That's when MTC members began to question their authority. As we grow so rapidly, we have to um, ensure that all of our partners that we cannot succeed without feel that they have real participation and that their voice matters. Town leaders want clarity that the governance of CATS rests with the MTC. Also, to make sure they will be included in picking a new CATS CEO and setting the budget for CATS. We need to look at that in more detail and then work with the towns to come up with something that is responsive to them and also protects the interests of Charlotte. And right now it's unclear what would happen if the two parties cannot come to an agreement. Now at 515 there is an MTC meeting. We'll be following that. And at 5 o'clock I'll also have the mayor's response to this. Reporting live in Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.